why do we need to have an origin story for for everything? Why do we have to understand the origin story of someone like the Joker, right? So I'm thinking, okay, you know. So my concern, I guess, is that like you know, if we if we if we speak too much of a lot of the causes that may push someone to to an edge, or does that does that blunt or does that negate one's own personal responsibility in the decisions that make? Because certainly he makes these decisions. Regard uh, the mental illness is a different issue, which I want to talk about later because I have very that was one of my other major problems with the portrayal was the uh, the element of mental illness. But w- where is the, the 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 moral judgment on 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 a character like this? Because I think the danger is is that you know especially these days where we, like, as I said we're trying to like be very sympathetic to villains and sympathetic to antiheroes and we want to sort of understand why someone could go and do this or why someone could go and shoot up a, a you know a, a mall or whatever this thing that we want to understand it but um, at what point do you have to also add that the, you know all of us have have moral agency there is an origin story in the Quran. The most evil. It's, it's Iblis, right? We know that. But like, what's the missing thing? We, we don't, we're not sympathetic to Iblis. We know that he's, uh, you know, he's, his arrogance is what drove him to disobey Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. But like, there's not this, um, like, we don't ha- certainly have sympathy for someone like, we don't have sympathy for, or empathy for someone like Pharaoh. We don't, we don't have an origin story of Pharaoh, but do we need one? So I guess that's my question here. Do we need to be delving to this? Because my concern here is all of these origin stories, uh, they take away God out of the out of the picture. So when you look at something like like the story of Iblis in the Quran, we know that the reason the reason it's evil is because he's disobeying God. That's the ultimate reason. So when we talk about our narratives in our media and our films and our books, when we take God out of everything, what is that leading us to? What is what kind of culture is that creating? So, so, so uh, again, again, I want to go back to to to, to my original point of uh, abstraction, right? Uh, you know, lo- looking at this character, uh, lo- looking at the whole, the whole of the uh, of the movie, you know, as an abstraction of the world that looks at it solely in terms of certain features of it, right? Certain features, and and by that very nature, forgets other features of it, right? So, uh, so, so certainly the the the, 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 the I keep saying novel, right? The film at no moment in looking at a human who is plagued through alienation, right? Through pauperism that occurs, you know, in 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 a post-industrial America, right? Uh, you know, the economic problems that happen in post-industrial America, right? So uh, th- this individual is, is is thoroughly plagued by them, right? Um, yet, yet when we look at, at the character, when we look at the character, I, as I said before, right, there is no moral stance which is being given, right? Even this idea of politics, right? Even this idea, for example, of, of a materialist Marxist politics, right? Or of a social justice which, which leans on, 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 uh, on materiality to define what does justice mean, right? There's none of that, right? When we are asked, you know, why did you kill them? Is this political? There isn't even the hinting of political, because when we have the hint of political, then we can imagine that we have, even if we're materialists, secularists, naturalists, even if we don't bring God into the equation, some idea of, of morality, of good, of one thing being better than the other, right? And that, and that is thoroughly absent, right? So at, at no moment, you know, do we see uh, the, 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 you know, in the microcosm, you know, and the macrocosm, right? So, which is uh, uh, here being, you know, the joker, and, and, and the mass, right? The mass is, you know, that they are the clowns, right? And they are nonetheless displaying the same thing that he displays, right? Which is raw violence, right? Just raw violence, ecstatic violence, right? Uh, in, 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 in looking at this, again, there is no, no morality, no, no claims to anything higher beyond animality, right? No claim to higher virtues, right? All, all which, could have, which could still be there in any narrative of the city. It's dehumanizing process. Right. So as you said, for example, like God can always be present in any narrative, whether it's a, a narrative of the city, whether it's a narrative of modernity, whether it's a dystopic narrative, we can always have, have thought of benevolence, mercy, beauty, kindness, justice, you know, overwhelming us in our every day to day existence. So even suffering, e- right? even suffering, even suffering. Right. So but here here it relegates it all to 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 just, you know, to, to a materialist conception of the world. Right. And in doing so, again, it, do, it does not take the moral highway. Right. And in not taking the moral highway, I'm as suspicious as you as to what is 
uh, okay, I understand. I understand the unveiling of the city, right? I understand looking at the, the, how the other half lives, as, as you would say, right? Or revealing the stench of what is already there, right? But when you can't even move into into a materialist form of justice, right? But here you are speaking, you know, supra super morally. Right. Super, you know, beyond politics. Right. Then you have to really question what sort of cynicism is in order. Right. And I think that it's a do cynicism because, again, let's not forget who the hero is. Right. Again, I think that the problem was already with having a hero like Iron Man and Superman. Right. Uh, you know, then the, the, to, to wonder about, you know, the, the poorest nature of good and evil. Right. You know, already, you know, we, we have, uh, as I said before, you know, we have the, the stench of the city. Right. And we know that, that, that the origin of the stench of the city is raw power and that this raw power is manifested both in its legal form, right, meaning its elite, its meritocracy, and in its criminal form, right, meaning those that will gain that meritocracy by any way necessary, even if they didn't inherit it, right? Uh, so, so we already see this and, and, and it can easily, you know, be, be, be uh, you know, sort of condemned, right? Um, but again, again, that's not the job of, uh, of really uh, neither the Joker or, or Batman, right? Uh, ba the, the job of Batman really is not to, to, to go at that, but to go at the criminal elements, right? To bring order back, despite whatever corruption exists, right? Order needs to be brought back, right? And then this other idea of, you know, chaotic, ecstatic, you know, progress, right? Uh, to me, it's just uh, very uh, emblematic of... Uh, of you know Western conceptions of, of designing, redesigning, construction, destruction, you know, uh, you know, bo both as uh, as forces in reality. You know, again, what happens when you take God out of the equation, right? To listen to the full episode, please visit Emanware.com.